Hey guys, welcome to The Sounding Mind, the loud inside voice that speaks the truth and nothing but the truth to power. This is the channel that focuses on exposing the hypocrisy of the left agenda. No biological distinctions exist between the sexes. At two blank slates, men and women are identical, and the only factor that differs is how someone is socialized. Gender is, therefore, a social construct. The lefties claim that boys are simply educated to be stronger than girls. Boys are just trained to have strong physical ideals. They do not naturally have these qualities. Girls are groomed to be weak and to admire Barbies. Now, of course, it seems entirely absurd, and that's why it is. But lefties do make this argument and assert that the science is settled. Here's an activist who claimed that there is no inherent advantage for biological guys on Stephen Colbert's show a few months ago. Do trans women have an advantage over cis women? We don't know. However, uh, there's good reason to think that there isn't, but I think it's irrelevant. I see, really. The fact that these communist activists keep making this assertion despite mounting data refuting it is, I suppose, extremely fascinating. More sporting competitions between men and women are being held. And not only do biological males completely BTFO female competitors in female athletic areas, but they also result in total and utter humiliation for the female side. Unless we live in a society where feminists constantly assert that this fundamental biological reality doesn't exist, it is neither shocking nor very newsworthy. The U.S. women's football squad was challenged by a retired men's soccer team, or perhaps you might call them a beer league team, who defeated them 12-0. to zero. And this follows the terrible loss the U.S. women suffered while practicing for the World Cup in 2017, I believe, when they played against 15-year-olds and lost. Let me demonstrate to you all exactly what is happening. Let's validate fundamental biological facts as reality in the woke world of 2023, which is unthinkable now. Roll the tape. We have some things to get into. Okay, everyone. So here's the video that has been making the rounds online, much to the surprise of all these feminists. They are in awe at what they see. Just take a look. Take a look at how frustrated the U.S. women's team goaltender is. Even I fail to grasp it. You know I'm quite competitive, so I can appreciate the raw emotions that go along with that, but in this situation, what did you expect? You guys plan to attack these old people either by fighting or coming in young and well-trained in your prime. Never was going to happen. I fail to comprehend the illusion. Do you recall losing 12? Zero? It was probably given a pass a little bit. I believe that's likely what took place in this case. You know, the males rarely put out their best effort in practically any of these circumstances. Additionally, there is an old viral video from a few years back. They aren't even making an effort. The final score was 12 to 0, and the retired men's beer league didn't even need to try. 
a relentless offensive assault, a frustrated, tilting goalie who is hammering the ground, and a huge reality check for all the communist extremists who reject science and biology. The truth is what it is. Nevertheless, high testosterone levels. It's science, people. Hormone replacement treatment is not being used by these men. Nothing matters. The disparity is so extraordinarily large. It's enormous. The athletic disparity between men and women is so great, a defeat of 12 to 0 and possibly much greater. That entails only doing hormone replacement medication for a full year. Simply said, lowering your hormone levels to what are considered acceptable levels cancels out any other biological differences. It is really absurd. Not at all. Everything about this is ideological. The left is a real cult, as recently demonstrated on Sam Cedar's podcast, when former TYT Emma Viglin unintentionally admitted the truth. Matt's citation off cases about the Olympics is pertinent, but an argument for better planning and more transparent discussions. Your argument is really bad on this, and you're out of your depth. You're correct that trans women should be able to compete in women's sports, but your argument for it is just scientifically and factually incorrect. I'm actually not bad about this. Um, I'm 100% right on this. It, I don't give a sh about the scientific explanations. People, if they identify as a woman, get to compete in sports. If that's not fair in the short term for a variety of little competitions, I don't give a sh I don't give a sh because the societal interest of including trans people in society trumps stupid competition. Full stop. So I'm right about this. You're wrong about this. The science is irrelevant to them. It's all about emotions. Facts don't matter. Feelings do. Screw it for the time being. What exactly are we contending for? What's the purpose? There comes a time when you simply have to let things go. Just let history unfold as it will. The left seeks to achieve this. This is their main campaign. By literally removing gender barriers, they have achieved equality. Not only figurative obstacles like opportunity barriers inside the political and corporate spheres, but also actual ones. However, actual gender barriers separate the venues for men and women. And so, you know what? If that's what you want, ignore it. Try it out. How about we eliminate gender from everything, sports, competitiveness, etc.? Just get rid of it. It is a fabrication of society. It's not truly there. Just allow the men in. Allow them access to these areas for women. I don't even care anymore at this point. No matter how much we rave about how unjust it is, how women's spaces should be safeguarded, how young women shouldn't lose out on athletic opportunities and scholarships, no matter how many times we present logical, cogent reasons, they are all ineffective. It receives no response. They are unconcerned. Science is not at issue. Reality is not at issue. The story revolves around a bizarre, woke world fantasy. Let them have it as a result. Watch how fast your awakened fantasy becomes a total nightmare. The greatest way for people to ultimately realize what is happening is probably via it. Men shouldn't participate in female-only sports. A social construct cannot be made of biological reality. It's the truth. What has evolved into a contentious statement in the woke world of 2023 is absurd. I had no idea that stating something would be seen as contentious. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.